My name is Jackie, and I'm a face of thyroid cancer. What some say is good cancer. I'm a thyroid cancer survivor. My name is Nikki. I was diagnosed with sporadic medullary thyroid cancer two and a half years ago when I was 17. Four years ago, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. My name is Key, and I was diagnosed last December with thyroid cancer at the age of 13. June 14th, 2004. I was 13, now 22. My name is Becky. I'm 32 years old, and I am a face of thyroid cancer. Hi, my name is Rob, and I'm one of the faces of thyroid cancer. I am the face of thyroid cancer. I was diagnosed with follicular variant papillary thyroid cancer in August of 2009. My name is Sarah, and I was diagnosed with papillary thyroid cancer in November of 2010. I am a thyroid cancer survivor. I know from experience it is not the good cancer. After my diagnosis, my doctor told me I'd be back on my feet again after an easy surgery. My doctor told me that if I had to get cancer, thyroid cancer was the cancer to get. I've had lots of challenges since my 10-hour surgery, ranging from a paralyzed vocal cord, needing so far three surgeries to help improve, to permanent numbness around my neck, jaw, and ear, and I even had radiation for six weeks. I was going to have to work harder than anybody else in order to just keep up. I'm here at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas for the eighth time now this year. I struggled daily with severe chronic neck pain and had to have surgery just to regain a normal speaking voice after the cancer left my vocal cord permanently paralyzed. I've been experiencing symptoms ranging from hot flashes to weight gain to complete and total exhaustion. Some challenges I've had were my hair falling out and feeling tired and weak all of the time. I have to monitor my hormone medication that I take every day or else I get exhausted, have hot flashes, or extra hair loss. I've had two surgeries and treatment with radioactive iodine. The thyroid replacement hormone therapy that I take every day for the rest of my life is causing my bone mass to erode. So my endocrinologist has lowered my dose in an effort to work on osteoporosis. Now I'm tired all day long. I've had a uh, massive neck surgery and also a massive chest surgery. Total of 100 lymph nodes removed. Three surgeries, radioactive iodine treatment, and two years of struggling to regulate my medication later. I'm still struggling every day with fatigue from my hyperthyroidism. Where's the good in that? Cancer. That should be enough in itself. I have learned that thyroid cancer is not the easy cancer. It's not the cancer to get, but it is a life-altering cancer. I had radiation to my right eye for two weeks for a metastatic tumor, and also been on chemotherapy now for six months. My life will never be the same. That thyroid cancer is not the good cancer. My treatment has been anything but easy, and it's far from over. It's time that we acknowledge thyroid cancer is a serious disease that affects more and more people every year, and there's nothing good about it. Every day I wake up and I have cancer. Every night I go to sleep and I have cancer. That truth never leaves me. No matter what I do or where I go, this is my reality. I am the face of thyroid cancer. It is not the good cancer. There are many types of cancer, and I have to live with the effects of mine for the rest of my life. That's not something they prepare you for when they tell you you've been diagnosed with the good cancer. My cancer is expensive and life-altering, and my condition can change at any time. That's what I get to think about. No, I don't think that thyroid cancer is the good kind to have. Thyroid cancer is not the good cancer. My foundation, Bite Me Cancer, is here to help fight the battle against thyroid cancer. We also support teens battling all types of cancers. Visit www.bitemecancer.org to learn more.